Hello and welcome to Sacred Symposium. This is part of my channel where I will do a little uh, channel from spirit. Um, I usually just uh, sit here and see who wants to come through and deliver a message. Uh, I have just done a tarot reading which was uh, really lovely and interesting and set up some nice uh, positive messages so you might want to uh, watch that, that's below. Um, but what was interesting was I thought after I finished, I'll just pull a couple of cards for myself. And you'll notice in the tarot reading, I started reading one of the cards, but I made a mistake because it wasn't that one, it was the other one, so I had to find the other one. Um, but that card jumped out when I was picking uh, my own, and it was insect. And what's interesting is it's air spirit, and there was a lot of air energy, there was a lot of um, information about ideas coming in, new adventures, new inspiration, uh, an intellectual that kind of uh, up here mental activity and here we have it again we have the air spirit so the heavens and then I thought let me pick another couple of cards for myself this isn't a card reading but I just thought this is really really interesting and the next card I picked was this one which is Dumtef Dumtef I don't know if I'm saying that right at all um, but you can see that this is called earth spirit so this is the earth, this is the physical, this is the grounded aspect of us. This is the earth. So as with Tai Chi, we have the heavens and the earth. So we're bringing this information, this higher light vibration, and we're bringing this cosmic energy down to the earth and we're grounding it. And we're maintaining our grounded energy. We're staying connected to the earth. We're having to ground into the earth. This is so important when you do spiritual work, when you connect to the higher, when you go up through the higher chakras and connect upwards, you must be grounded, you must maintain your earth element, you must maintain your earth connection. So I just thought that was so interesting. I thought I'll pick a couple of cards for myself because I love this deck. And those are the two that came up. Heaven and earth. And then I thought let me just pick another one. And I got segment which is a, a very powerful goddess. You can see we've got the sun energy there. And she's change and healing. So something is changing in your life. Something is changing in my life. And it is bringing this healing energy in. So I will read more about Sekhmet later. And she's uh, 35, which is eight. So eight is the magic number, the power of eight. It's a number of fortune in Chinese culture. Eight is a very important number. And she has her staff connected to the ground. She's connected to the sun god, Ra. And she's connected to the Ankh, which is all one. All as one. And she looks like she's stepping forward. So there is movement in change and there is healing as well. Very nice. So. Let me see if we can do a little quick uh, channel for you. I'll just see who wants to come through, not sure, um, but we will just um, see if there's an energy or some information. Let me just actually see if I can connect with anyone. Just hold, hold firm for a second. Okay, I've just sat for a moment and now I'm so hot. There's energy coming in, absolutely. So I'm just going to see what happens. Thank you for having us. We are always delighted to be with you and we enjoy coming through in this manner. It is an exceptional ability that you have in allowing, in trusting and in allowing us to superimpose ourselves on you so as to formulate a receptacle in order to be able to connect in the intensity that we are connecting right now. 
what a beautiful meeting to be here sensing each other feeling each other and therefore knowing each other nothing else is required this is true transparency this is being able to be complete in yourself and complete with another the heavens have answered your call many are coming in with requirements and you will be able to manage all situations with finesse gratitude healing assistance and as part of your ongoing work you will understand that the game has changed. The level that you are participating at is the elevated. It is uh, higher than you had considered you would reach. So for your group who are observing, who are in the audience, who are watching, we would like to say to you that there is a great offer that we are giving you where you can sit and receive such communications. This is a very fair way for this one to come across and allow us to speak. Uh, without any interruption you get this cable straight through to your systems and you're able to watch from wherever you are in the world. What a fantastic scenario. And we would say to you that there is offering in this, there is guidance in this, in always, in all of the words, there's information that you can take hold of because this is uh, our teaching which is coming through. It is less that this one has great ideas and is giving them to you. It is more that she stands back and allows us space to be, space to communicate and space to connect with you. So if you're watching, we're connecting with you. If you're watching, you may feel a goosebumps. If you're watching, you may feel relaxed. If you're watching you may feel good we bring that energy in the energy of abundance the energy of love the energy of life regardless of where you are you can now have access to that so we suggest that you design a new tapestry that you take on a new role in your existence where you suddenly on a whim open up to the spiritual aspects of your life and the spiritual aspects of those around you and watch your life change for the good this is the work that needs to be done this is the work that people are ignoring this is the work that many are being distracted from so we remind you, seek out those who are able to allow us to take a seat with you, to sit with you, to be amongst you. While we are among you, we are able to elevate you. We are able to answer your questions and queries. It may not be the answer you want. But we are here and we are present. So consider for a moment the possibility of taking time to sit with this one in channeling mode. This is something we will put to her also. But for now we would like to say 
power of the energy that is coming to the earth has a movement with it which will change everything. And we enjoy you all so much and we love you all so much and we want for you to be able to stay and experience this massive transformation. Should that be your wish? If you cannot, that is okay. But if you can, then you are going through one of the most amazing possibilities, experiences, evolutions ever possible. The fact that we are here communicating with you right now and being here with you, in you, right now, by your sides, on your screens, shows, shows that the acceptance of this is growing, the value of this is growing, the availability of this is growing, the number of beings who are um, coming forward with this gift, with this desire to share, with this commitment to sit. It is incredible work and we appreciate it because as well as delivering a message to the screen, right now we are sending energy through this one. We are right now, we are bringing the energy into the physical world around this one. Right now we are doing energy work right now because of her available space, because of the time she has given, we are able to come closer and do this work because it is flowing through her like a power cord, uh, no, like a power source, yes. It flows through her and so it goes somewhere, it goes down into the ground, into the earth, into the air around her. It is in every cell. It is rejuvenating her, but it is doing so much more to the environment, to the energy. When she talked before of something happening on one side of the cosmos and affecting the other, we would say that that is what is also happening. It happens in your physical reality, but it happens energetically too. So this one is sending out a pulse right now. And that pulse is changing everything. Change. The momentum is growing, it is moving, it is behind this pulse. Hmm. She's aware of someone hoovering in the background, can you hear? We are wondering how we can bring that into the, the lecture. So we say clean up the world around you. Clean up the debris. Dust. Hoover. Declutter. Cleanse your energy. More and more it, you're going to need to cleanse your energy. More and more you're going to attend to that. You clean out your car. You hoover the car. You valet the car, so it looks good, it looks clean. You like getting into it when it's valeted. Or had a valet, she is saying. She's not sure if valet is the correct word. But we are saying, cleanse your vessel. You will enjoy it more. Detoxify your vessel, it will be cleaner and work better for you. Fine tune your vessel. You will want to move around differently, you will want to keep it cleaner, healthier, more vibrant. And attend to it again and again. Because no doubt you go out into the world and you'll pick up the dust and the dirt. You'll pick up the ideas and the thoughts, you'll pick up the vision, the nightmare. And so you must, as this one is doing somewhere in the background, clean out the car, clean out the vehicle. 
do what needs doing. So you can enjoy that freshened space, that fresh energy. So much is coming forward for change, but should you need guidance, there is much on the internet. There is much to search out and there is much happening. There is much more available. So never feel like it's a journey you're taking on your own. Never feel like you're having to leave everything behind. You're doing this while you're here. You're doing this with everything around you. And that can be the great difficulty. But that is the situation as it stands. Revelations will come. But the more work you can do, the more grounded you can be, the more you can be open to the spiritual realm, the cosmic realm, the energetic realm, the more at your core you will understand all of it. And should you feel fearful from time to time, that is a protective mechanism. And it will alert you to areas in your life that you need to focus on. But also, do not let it overwhelm you. Because it can be misguided, it can be mm, controlled, it can be distorted. And that can cause you more suffering. And we would suggest to you that what is coming is not about suffering, it is about freedom. It is about freedom, an opportunity, and moving in to a higher consciousness. We have delighted in being with you, and we will let this one get back to our day. But we are very joyful and appreciative of having these moments with you. So we send you much healing, much love, much heart energy. Connect to the higher and look out for us. We are around you. Now, always, together. that I may come back but I am very much feeling energy like I'm plugged into a you know when someone gives you a hug and it's just lovely but it's like that split second this is like a continuous Thank you. God, they just love talking to you. They love talking to you. So thank you. I'm going to leave that there, that sacred symposium for today, not too long. Um, I think there was a bit for me at the start which I'll watch back because I don't quite remember what it was. Um, something about going higher than I thought, I think. Um, so be blessed, have a lovely day and uh, sorry for all the background noise um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed take care
Bye.